Hello students, welcome to CTHS Cosmetology. We are going to be unboxing your aesthetics kit for ninth grade. First thing I want you to do is um, get a large space where you have vacuumed so hair does not get in your kit items or on your kit items. Wipe down your table, disinfect it, clean it really good. These are items that you need to keep clean because they are to use to service clients or yourself or your partners. So please make sure that the area is clean. If you have pets, um, a lot of times that hair, their, their fur, it all ends up on the, the carpet or the floor. You put your things down and the items will pick up the lint, the hair, the dead skin, all of the things. So clear you a good space and make sure there are no distractions so that you don't miss something or lose something or misplace something. And then make sure it's nice and clean, okay? All right, so one of the first, now I have you know gloves just to keep it clean and everything, make sure to wash your hands. Um, first thing that you're gonna need is a box cutter or scissors, okay? When you open, regardless if you're using scissors, box cutter, a knife, whatever you're using, you need to be careful when you open your packaging. Simply because if you are going to slice through the plastic wrap that holds the package together, I can't zoom out, but for example, this part of the kit that is the big, the big kit, um, if you slice through it, you can cut into your your items. For example, this here is a neck, and I can zoom out, but this here is a neck, or let me see, can I zoom out a little bit? Um, this is a neck mask, and if you slice through here, you, you open, the, you open slice open the neck mask, but you can also cut the product inside, and it just it doesn't work out. So please, please, please make sure that you are careful when opening your kit, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the mini box, okay? This is a little box um, that you have and these are the items that um, have come from the Amazon purchase, okay? These are things that uh, unfortunately we get from a different vendor um, and are a little bit more expensive. So that them being a more expensive or the other um, vendor that we order from does not carry some of these items, then I order in bulk uh, from Amazon and um, then split it up. So if there's like a pack of 50 masks, instead of having each of you buy a pack of the 50 masks, which would bring a mask, it costs like three or four dollars each, I buy bulk and then it comes and then I split them up. So that's why you have what you have in your kit. Okay, we'll explain a little bit more of that in class. Once we empty this, you do not need this little box. So let's go ahead and get started with what is in this container. So you're gonna have two different masks. They may or may not be these two particular um, cucumber. Uh, for example, you might have blueberry, you may have uh, vitamin C. There's different types of masks, okay, for different purposes. So as long as you have two, one that looks similar to this and the other will look, this is the You Need brand, I love this brand, um, but these two here, you need two of these. Do not use these at home. These are, one is for mannequin use, the other is for the use on yourself or your partner in class. Please do not use these at home. Keep them until I ask you, pull them out and then we use them at home. If you use them, if you cut them, if you open them, if you whatever to them, I don't have extra, okay? So please make sure to keep them safe. Um, and obviously not in like the garage or anything. Those will stay in your kit, um, but you definitely wanna make sure you keep those protected. Then you have two of these uh, collagen eye patches, okay? This is for our gold facial. So you have two packages of these. Again, don't use anything at home. Everything is for use at school. And then you have the two lip masks. Okay, of course they're for our gold uh, facial as well. So you should have two of these. 
Now, if at any given point in time you are missing anything, please let me know and I will make sure to get you what you're missing. The other product that you have in here is hyaluronic acid with a mask. Now the hyaluronic acid is liquid and the mask is a powder. You mix the two together. So you might have the, this particular one is the gold foil. You might have the lavender, the tea tree. There's different ones. It just depends on what we put in your box. If you don't like a particular one and your neighbor has the lavender and you really want that one, you can trade with your neighbor, it's fine, or someone in, in your ninth grade cosmetology class, but um, they're all great, great products. Okay, so you have these two, they go together. And product-wise, which is not really product, but, um, well, I guess it is product, but it's more like a, a tool. You have this cosmetic art. It's brown. It is a brow pencil. This is used for when we do brow mapping. You sharpen it by pulling the um, thread that is there. Okay. So before we used to give little bits of them. Now you have your whole pencil for yourself. Okay, so you have one of those. You may also have, instead of brown, it may be black, but I tried to put brown in all of them. Another thing for brow mapping is this surgical pencil. It is a white uh, pencil. It's kind of like a marker, if you will. And you have a little ruler. It is in a pouch indicating that it's sanitized and sterile, so make sure that it stays that way. Keep it in the pouch. I'll give you more pouches as we go along using them in school. And then we have uh, lash glue. So the lash glue is in the package. You are able to go ahead and take the lash glue out. So that way you can go ahead and get rid of the trash. Let me go ahead and open this up. Where is my little cutter? And again, be careful when you're cutting your things so you don't cut into your actual product. But you can go ahead and take this out and it will take up less space. Okay. And that will be when we do lashes, you have your little lash glue. Don't use this at home. I know it's going to be very tempting, but don't use this at home. Okay, this is not for home use. It is for use in class. Okay, the next thing that we have here are our tools. Okay, so with our tools, we have the foam maker. Okay, so these spin, so it's not that you broke it, it just spins into place, okay? You might have a white one, you may have a pink one. These are hair clips that we will be using, so you should have four, there are different colors. If you don't like the colors you got and your neighbor has a color you like, you're welcome to switch. This is a washer. It is a plastic washer. It's not real stone and they come of different colors. So you can take that out of the packaging and you have a little washer, okay? Again, if you don't like the color, you can switch with your neighbor. Now let's talk about our disposables. So this is a stick card, okay? And it's uh, somewhat a little bit hard to come by, so don't lose it. Um, we will be laminating these so that it will last you a long time, but this is to practice lash placement. So do not throw this away. Make sure you get your name on it. These two are going to be for brow mapping, so we will be using them in class, okay? And um, you, can, you can bend them, just try not to fold them, okay? So these are two of those brow mapping stickers. Continuing with our disposables, with our towelettes, you have a little baggie, and in your baggie, you should have eight of these towelettes. They are compressed. When you put soak them in water, they expand. These are for class use. Do not use these at home. Okay. You have the same thing, a compressed mask, but this a sheet mask, but it is in a capsule. Don't open the capsule. And then you have a charcoal one, which is used when we use our do our charcoal uh, facial services. But this comes in a small package. 
The last thing that you're going to have in your little box is going to be this package right here. You don't have to cut it, it's not sealed, okay? So this here is going to have multiple, um, oh, let's see if I can open it with these gloves. This is gonna have multiple disposable tools um, inside, okay? And I have more at school, so when you run out, I'm more than happy to give you some more. But you can go ahead and like I said, these are makeup brushes, brow brushes, lash brushes. So we don't wanna just dump these out on the floor um, that is not clean uh, at our house, okay? So that's why I was saying it's important to make sure it's a clean surface area, wash your hands, do all of the things. Don't, lay, don't let these things just lay out because you will be using these on people. So you wanna make sure they stay nice and clean. But some of the brushes that you have are going to be mascara wands. Okay, you should have those. You're gonna have lip gloss uh, applicators. Okay, so you do have those as well. You're gonna have it chiseled, a long chiseled brow brush. And then you have a small lip brush, okay? You also have a bristle brush, it's a pointed one. And you have the little Q-tips, if you will. They are little cotton applicators. They are long, skinny, pointed, and they have a cotton, uh, wrapped, cotton wrapped around at the tip edge of the uh, stem of this tool. And then you have the little micro applicators as well, okay? So these are the supplies that you have. You can put these in a container. Uh, you can put them back in this little bag. It is totally up to you. The only thing I ask is that you please make sure to keep this clean. It has to stay clean and sanitary. So then that way, when you use it on a client, it's safe for the client, okay? All right, so those are the things that come in the little box. Okay, and again, you can throw the little box away. You won't be needing that anymore. All right, in the big box, in the big brown box, you're going to have a styrofoam head. You can take the plastic off of the styrofoam head, but this is going to be a mannequin head we use for a project. Put your name on the bottom and you can take the sticker off of the styrofoam head. This is going to be for projects. Okay, so that is your styrofoam head you're gonna leave the styrofoam head at home, okay? You're not gonna be bringing that to school simply because um, there's no space to store it at school, okay? So give me a second, let me go ahead and open up this package here carefully so that I do not break, tear, cut into any of the supplies. Um, take your time with it, I know you're excited, but really take your time with opening it up and once you open it, don't throw anything away. So that way, if you're missing something, sometimes the things get stuck to the package and you can go back and take a look to make sure um, you have your things, okay? So don't throw anything away until it's time. All right, so one of the first things that you're going to uh, look into is your makeup cape. Okay, so this makeup cape, you can go ahead and take it out of the packaging. And I like to wrap a rubber band around it or put it in a little Ziploc bag to keep it nice and clean. And it folds fairly small, so it doesn't take up too much space. You are going to have two products in this particular kit. That is going to be a neck. Um, this is a Satin Smooth is the brand. It is the Collagen Neck and Eye Mask, okay? So you have both of those. Um, make sure, again, make sure you don't cut into that product when you're opening your box. You're going to have a palette. So this palette is used by wrapping foil around it and then we put our product, this is 12 o'clock, one, two, three, etc. And teach, I'll teach you how to use it, how to take care of it, but this is your palette for you. 
All right, when we do lashes, you are going to be doing a lash display, and that's what these two sponges are for. This here sponge is the latex free, but we're gonna cut these in half and do our lash displays. And so you have two of these. Now these, you can take them out of the package, but you're gonna have to put them in a baggie, and I'll show you that at the end of the video, how to prep and package and organize your box, your kit and your items, what stays home and what comes to school. But this, you just need to make sure that it does not get dirty because then your display is going to look pretty bad. You have two, oh, I opened it back for this, or upside down. You have four, I'm sorry, four of the disposable headbands. So there's four of these. Now you can wash them. These are for you to use on yourself. We have uh, plastic disposable ones to use for clients, but these are used for yourself only, and you do take them home randomly and wash them um, to make sure that they stay clean. Okay, so here we have, where are my scissors? Let's see. Here we have our palette and our spatula. Now this is a tool that for sure you are going to be able to take over to your 10th grade kit. Okay, so you have the palette and the spatula. And again, these are things that you are going to be able to take over to your next kit for the next grade level, um, but these are pretty great. Just make sure that your spatula doesn't bend with time. Okay, so we have a pack of three touch-up razors. So this is going to be for when we do brows. Okay, this is, um, has a specific use of how we use it. Uh, and then there's a specific use in the industry of how these are used, but these are for when we work on brows. So you should have three. Try not to use these at home so you don't dull the blade. Okay, and you have a package of spatulas. They are assorted spatulas. There's plenty of them. And you have the small spatulas, you have the large oval, and then you have the ones that have the little dip. Okay, so you do have all of these different, let me just put one of each so you can see. Uh, where's the other one? There we go. Okay, so those are the three kinds that you should have. You don't need all of them in your kit. The rest can stay home. You really just need three in there. These are reusable, so don't throw them away. You have a makeup cleaning bowl. This makeup cleaning bowl is collapsible, so you pop it open, okay? And you can have this, fill it up, put your cleaner in it, wash your brushes, and dry it, wash it and then it collapses back into your small size so you can fit it in your kit. You have a small bottle. Now this bottle is going to be for serums and such. So it's a little bottle that has a little dropper, like so, okay? All right, so that is that one. You also have silicone sponges. So you have three silicone sponges. Now these sponges are going to be reusable, obvious, or not sponges, I apologize, brushes are gonna be reusable. And there are three different shapes of them. Okay, so these, I like the handle on them this time better than what we had in the past. Um, you have a brow kit. Now your brow kit is going to be something that you're going to be wanting to use, but please don't use it until it's time to use it um, so you don't damage it. So this is the brow makeup. Okay, comes with a little brush and the colors. And then this is your wax pencil. And then you have your... Um, applicator your brush and such okay so we want to make sure that you have a good um, working 
tool whenever it's time to use it. So a lot of times this kind of gets a little flimsy and kind of starts to break here. So when you use it at home, it kind of messes up before you even need to bring it to class. So I do ask that you don't use any of these things until we use them at school because you've got to learn how to use these things first. Uh, okay, let's take a look at your brush. So this is a reusable handheld brush for facials. We want to make sure to keep the cap on it so that way it protects the bristles. You have a timer. Okay, so here you have, you can take it out of the packaging. You have a timer. Please check it to make sure it's working. Um, and this is super important when we do our facials. Make sure timer facials it we're doing it for the correct amount of time. Okay, so this is a travel set. It is a seven piece travel set container package. Uh, let me go ahead and take this packaging out. Um, it's a little bent at first, so sometimes it's hard to open the bag. But once you open it the first time, the next few times it's fairly easy. It's just because it's new and has not been used before. Um, okay. These containers here are what you're going to be using to uh, store your products. So hand sanitizer, cleanser, toner, moisturizer, mask, micellar water, all of those things that they go in here. And then after your freshman year, you can clean these out, empty them out, clean them out, sanitize them, all of the things, and then bring them back your sophomore year to add nail products uh, many petty products in these containers and then your senior year you have two sets of these to be able to package your state board items okay for your state board exam here you have a u-band lash ring let's get this open here and it's got little pieces so try not to lose those pieces so you have um, this here can be attached here. You wear it as a ring. You can use this as a practice. And then you put the glue here. You also have this small bit here. So what I recommend is putting this like so, okay? And then it, sometimes you're able to push it in and it kind of stays, sometimes not so much. But if you don't wanna kinda chunk it in there, that's totally fine go ahead and just keep it apart. Just don't lose the little pieces. All right, the flexible mixing bowl. You have a small flexible mixing bowl, okay? Um, you're able to pour out from it, but it's, it is flexible, it is small. And then you have two of these metal stainless steel facial bowls. So we put water in this, so then that way you can go ahead and have your items for your facials. So that's what that is for. And we have a, so you make sure it doesn't get stuck in my packaging like I mentioned. That's why we don't throw anything away until we're completely done. But you have a lash curler and your lash curler does come with a little replacement pad. So I like to keep this in the baggie just because it's such a small thing, um, but you do not have to in particular, okay? All right, you have a measuring cup. You have a beaker. Honestly, it's a little bit larger than what I thought I read but it is a beaker and so it does have the measuring which we do use a lot. So um, anyway, so it's just a little bit harder to clean because it's so thin at the base, but uh, it does have the measurements here when we do a lot of measuring with a lot of different masks and products and things. So you have your own cup now. I'm running out of space here. You have a two-in-one facial cleansing brush, and this facial cleansing brush, it is a nylon brush. It does help to exfoliate um, and different skin types. So this is, side has the bristles, and this side has the silicone pad. Um, in transportation, it might have gotten squished or a little bit bent. No worries. Dip it into hot water, like boiling hot water for just a little bit and it will settle down. With time, it kind of goes back to its original shape anyway. 
This spray bottle that you have here is for your disinfecting solution. So this is specifically for cleaning and I will give you the liquid that you need to place in that bottle. A product that you have here is going to be your brush cleaner. Now you have a small bottle and it does come with cleaner in it already, but we do have more cleaner at school so you're able to refill your bottle anytime you want um, and just to make sure you keep a good um, amount in your bottle. Uh, it's at the sink at the back of the classroom. You don't have to ask, you just have to pump some in here and refill your bottle at any time. In here you are going to have your jade roller. Now when I say jade, I don't mean the actual real jade. I've lost my little, oh there it is. I don't mean the actual real jade, I mean just a, a jade roller, right? It's green, it's not real jade, so it's not the super expensive kind. But we do have, and you do, I know the first time I got this box, let's try to open it. You do pull the flap here, and it does open like so. It's protected fairly well. And you can throw the box away. Now, per TDLR, you cannot store your tools in a container bag, satchel, anything of the sort that absorbs bacteria, which is what foam and cardboard and things do or does. So we throw that away and we just keep our jade roller in one of our containers. So I'll show you how to package all that um, as we go along. And speaking of packages, these are your containers where you're going to be storing your items. So you have two big and two small ones. Once you're done with freshman year, you can uh, travel and put these over into your nail kit. These are very popular, but these are the large ones and the small ones, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to package your, your kit um, as we get going here. And then let me go ahead and open up my appointment book to show you how that is so this is the appointment book that you have i'm not able to zoom out all the way but this is your appointment book your name is going to go here okay and it's got the dates and then you've got your appointments here i'm going to teach you how to do all of that but this stays in your binder at school so you have access to it and you are able to take it home once we get going to booking appointments so you can book your appointments yourself and write their information um, there on your appointment book. So let's go ahead and move on to our lashes. And these come in this package. The kind of small items that are packaged together. So here you're going to have the lash tabs. They are black and they are medium. And so you have a package of these here, okay? They are not free, which is really great. And then you have a strip lash. Now I know it's gonna be very tempting to want to use these, don't. And then you have clear adhesive, okay? Clear adhesive, um, which is the lash glue. Don't use these things at home, okay? Try not to use these things at home. Let me share with you the facial brushes that you have, but let me open them first. So, the first brush that you have is a small, short fan brush. So with this fan brush is used for facial products like masks, um, peels, uh, acids, things of the sort that are very, the viscosity is not as thick. Okay, um, this brush right here is also a mask brush, but it is your round brush, and this particular one is for thicker products. And this is a body brush for back rolls and things of the sort for larger areas of the body, and it is a nylon bristle. Then you have another nylon bristle brush. Let me grab my scissors to open it. Okay, and this is to clean some things. So it's more of a disinfecting uh, or a sanitation a tool, okay? We don't use this on the face. It's too rough, don't, don't do that, okay? Okay, let me pull these out here. These are our other tools and brushes. 
Okay, you have a reusable, it's definitely not disposable, but it's a multi-use, a multiple use uh, brow or lash brush. So it has the metal and the nylon bristles on both ends with the protector. I like to keep the protector on there because if not, it they, your uh, bristles can bend easily. So that is for brows and lashes. Okay, and you have scissors. You have two kinds of scissors. So you have a straight blade scissor and then you have a curved blade scissor. So when you look at both of the blades, one is curved and one is straight, okay? So they, for lashes, there's a particular purpose for both of the scissors, okay? If they're hard to close, you can put a little bit of oil here and just to kind of prep them for use and it should be just fine. Okay, this particular one is an eyelash applicator for strip lashes. It is not like a tweezer teaser. So it does come with this little protective band. I like to keep it on there at the beginning, but then at the end, I kind of lose, lose it and it's all right if it's not on there. But this is for strip lashes. Okay. Then the other three tweezers that you have are a curved tweezer, which is this one, a needle nose tweezer, which is that one, which is a pointy nose, and then a slanted tweezer. Let me open this one up. Oh, come on. A slanted tweezer, okay. So these each have a particular purpose um, to use them for certain services, certain uh, parts of the body. Some are for lashes, some are better used for brows. Uh, it just, there's a particular reason to have so many tweezers. Trust me, I didn't just put tweezers in your kit just to put them in there. And the last thing that we have is going to be a Comido extractor, or some people call it Comido. Um, so this here has two edges to it, okay? Um, we don't do extractions, but I do have those to teach you how to do that. So if aesthetics is something that you're wanting to go into, that you have that tool and you are educated on how to do it correctly and how not to damage the skin and break capillaries and all of those things because this people use this incorrectly and do more damage than, um, than help the clients. So I like to, to make you aware of those points. So that is what comes in your aesthetics kit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and organize this and kind of uh, package it so that you can see how to organize it, how what goes in what box and what bin, and how to squeeze it in the box. So let's go ahead and get to that. Okay, so these are, I'm gonna try to get everything in the frame here. These are things, this is how you need to package your items. Now, do you understand that it is a tight fit? It's a small box, okay? Um, you can go out and buy new boxes and more, you know, containers, but please make sure you don't spend a lot. It's really not worth it. Um, if you do buy containers, remember the box is not that big, so measure the container and the box before you do all of that. Um, honestly, we use Ziploc bags like crazy. So you will take some items, put them in a Ziploc bag. When, once your bag gets kind of gross, then you just change out the bag. Um, it, the bags work the best, to be completely honest with you. Okay, you're not gonna be able to bag everything, so there are gonna be a lot of loose things in your box, but that is okay. You are able to take your cosmetology kit box home with you, ninth and 10th grade. Um, it's fairly small and you know you can take it back and forth, although you're eventually not gonna want to, but it, it typically needs to stay in the classroom for your use, okay? Okay, so first thing is the, let me just reiterate, the mannequin head, this stays at home. Put your name at the bottom, but this stays at home. I will tell you when to bring her to the school. Your uh, spatulas, these extra spatulas, there's four of each of the sizes. Um, they're, just take one set and put them in your kit and the rest you leave at home in a little zip baggie, make sure they stay clean. 
and this uh, you can replace uh, as needed. Okay, so that stays home. Those are only two things that are gonna stay home for this kit for you. Okay, so the appointment book, you need to write your name here at the top. Once you have your name at the top, you're gonna bring this and this is gonna live in your cosmetology binder in the classroom. You're gonna be able to bring it back and forth, okay? All right, the other things that are going to be, so let me get rid of this to give you, we'll do these at the end, just to give you an idea, give you some, some space ideas. So these are the things that you're gonna package, okay? Um, so that stays clean, your four facial headbands need to be in some kind of a container. Again, like I said, a plastic bag is the best because this needs to the first year stay clean. We use this constantly, so this is your makeup cape. I just wrap it up and a rubber band is the best. You can put it in a Ziploc bag as well, but it's just the things that stay uh, clean. Uh, packaged is your facial brushes, the both nylon and the bristle brush, the silicone one, and this one here, the lash curler. Okay, You can put that in a snack size baggie and it kind of just stays together. The bottles stay in the container packaging that it originally came with and that is because if this these products spill, no worries, okay? If the products spill, they spill into the bag and not into your kit, okay? So that stays in the box bag container. Your bowls, your measuring cup, um, the pump bottle for the foam, your cleaning product, uh, product container, your brush cleaner, your serum. These kind of don't have, you can't really package them. Um, so they just kind of get put into your kit along with your spatula, your, I'm sorry, your uh, palettes and your um, brush cleaner bowl, okay? So you just have to find a way to neatly organize these in your kit. Your timer, same thing. You're just gonna place it in there along with your lashes. Now, these things you can put in a Ziploc bag, like a gallon size Ziploc bag, if it works best for you. So just at, at school, just get one of the gallon size Ziploc bags that you brought at the beginning of the, or at the end of the school year last year, I guess you can say, and you're gonna put all of your products in there. It may or may not close depending on the bag. Um, and just take all the air out of it. I also bagged the, uh, the sponges, okay? And I put the sponges in here. And so just, just so that way all these little things stay together, okay? If the bag is something that doesn't work out for you and you just wanna leave your packaging out, that's okay too. You can package the small items and leave the big items out and just place them in your box however you choose, okay? All right, so we're gonna have a small container and this small container is going to have um, our disposables, so our consumables. So all of these little brushes that came in the little bag with the face, um, all, our, all of our compressed face masks, those go in here, okay? It's just easier to see what you have and it's easier to grab when you need something. Okay. In the other small bin, you are going to have these items. You're going to have your manicure brush, which this we use for cleaning. You're gonna have your palette, your extra, um, uh, oh my goodness, your extra pad for your lash curler your brow and lash brush, your brow brush and spoolie. You're gonna have your disposable brow razors, and then both of your scissors and your four tweezers of different kinds and your extractor. Okay, so those go in the small one. Then in this one, the big one, you're gonna have, okay, you're gonna have your jade roller and your washer, okay? Washer, jade roller. You're going to have your three, um, these are gonna be your three 
uh, mask spatulas, the little fuzz on there, that are plastic, and then your three silicone spatulas for masks and products. And then you're going to have your fan brush, your oval brush needs to go at an angle, make sure the bristles don't get messed up at the angle, and then your body brush, okay? You have to be strategic about how you organize uh, your containers. You have to keep them nice and neat. And then here you're going to have oops, these items here. You're going to have your lash stick card. You're going to have your brow products, which includes your liner, your lash glues, your lash rings, and again, you could leave that out so that way it's not in there. Your brow pencil needs to go at a somewhat of an angle so it fits. You have your little hair clips. This one, you kind of scooch it down and fold it and it will fit just perfect. And then you have your brow stencils and that, like I said, you have to bend a little bit, but just don't actually crease it. And so that goes and they're just perfect. So I like the clear bins because you can see where what is a lot easier. Um, and so that's, that's it. That's how you uh, organize and package your items and then go ahead and make sure your box is nice and clean, your locker box work on that combination as instructions are in that box and then you can go ahead and place that um place that these items inside of the box uh after you have selected your combination okay if you have any questions let me know but thank you so much i hope you're excited and i cannot wait to start the school year thank you and have a good day